Google just launched the Pixel 9 series, and I'm already seeing reports of people having issues with Bluetooth. This type of bug is not really unique to the Google Pixel 9 Fold, as I've seen just about every Android device having these issues. So today, I can offer six different suggestions that can help you to resolve any type of Bluetooth related issue. Whether the phone is having trouble pairing with an external speaker, whether you're having issues playing back audio with your earbuds, or just random disconnects, there's almost always a way to fix it. The first thing that I want to recommend is that you simply reboot your Google Pixel 9. So bring up the power menu and then tap on that restart option. I know this suggestion does seem very simple and I do realize that you may have rebooted your device since you began having these issues with Bluetooth, but I highly recommend you try it out. You can even go as far as to power off the phone to make sure that you've tested all possible options here before trying the rest. I have seen hundreds and hundreds of people tell me that just restarting their device was enough to fix their Bluetooth problems. And it's a good way to flush out some temporary data from the Android operating system as it can help to fix the pairing issues that you're experiencing. We do this long press gesture from the power menu, but if you need help accessing safe mode, then I'll be sure to link to a dedicated guide that I've done down in the video description below. And I'll also have that linked in the pinned comment on this video as well. Once you're in safe mode, as confirmed by the watermark in the bottom left corner, go ahead and test out Bluetooth playback again. See if you can pair your speaker with the Pixel 9 Pro, and if you're having any trouble listening to some audio through it. If Bluetooth works just fine in safe mode, but again, it does not work after you have rebooted out of it, then it is a third party application that is causing the trouble. I can only recommend you go through your third party apps one at a time to find out which one may be the culprit and then uninstalling it completely. If that fails to help fix the problem, the next thing that I recommend is that you use a feature built into Android that will reset your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi module. The easiest way to find this feature is by launching the settings application and then searching for the word reset. You should find a feature labeled reset Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And you're going to want to tap on that and then confirm that this is what you want to do. You should be aware that this will delete all of the data pertaining to your Wi-Fi networks and your paired Bluetooth devices. So after performing this action, you will need to reconnect to your previously saved Wi-Fi networks. But this is a great way to clear out some potentially corrupt data that pertains to the Bluetooth devices you're trying to pair with your Pixel 9 Pro XL. If you're still having issues, then we can take this a step further and erase the application cache and application data for two or three of the different Bluetooth services. We do this by launching the settings application again, finding the apps menu, tapping on see all apps, and then tapping on the three dot menu icon in the top right corner. We want to show system apps, and then we can begin scrolling through this list of apps until you find ones labeled Bluetooth. On Android 15, I'm only seeing two listed here, but on Android 14, there are three. So however many Bluetooth apps that you see in this list, we're going to go through them one at a time. We're going to tap on the storage option. 
And then we're going to clear the cache before clearing the storage. Once we finished with this with one, we go back, we find the next Bluetooth app in this list. Again, we select on storage, and then we're going to clear cache before clearing the storage. Do that for all of the Bluetooth apps that you see listed here. And then again, we're going to want to restart the Google Pixel 9 so that Android can set everything back up again. And once the phone boots back up, try to pair your Bluetooth earbuds again to see if the problem has been fixed. All of these suggestions can go a long way to resolving the majority of the Bluetooth playback issues that most people encounter. However, sadly, it will not help everyone. So the next thing that I recommend is that you enable the hidden developer options menu by tapping on the build number entry within the about phone section seven to 10 times. If you're not familiar with how to enable developer mode, then check the video description below as well as the pinned comment for a link to a dedicated guide that I've already done on the subject. Once that is done, you can find the newly revealed developer options menu within the system menu of the settings application. And you should see developer options right there at the bottom. From here, we're going to scroll through this list until you begin to see Bluetooth related features, which should be found within the networking section of the developer options menu. It's possible that the Bluetooth speaker you're using is just incompatible with the default options here. So it's advised to go through this list to see if enabling or disabling or changing these Bluetooth options can fix it. I just go through this list one at a time. So for example, we can enable this toggle for turning off Android's ability to offload the Bluetooth A2 DP hardware by tapping on that toggle. It will require a restart. And once the phone has been restarted and it boots back up, try to test your Bluetooth device again. If it still has issues, come back to this menu and disable that toggle again since it didn't help. And then we move on to the next Bluetooth one. Bluetooth AVRCP version may be causing an issue with the default version selected. So we can tap on that and go from the default 1.5 to version 1.3. Then we're going to test our Bluetooth device to see if it fixed the problem. If it didn't, we come back here, change it to 1.4 or 1.6 and test again. Again, if it still doesn't fix it, we come back here and change it back to the default since the other options didn't help. The goal here is to test out each option related to Bluetooth to see if changing one of them fixes the problem. There are a lot of different Bluetooth features that we can test out here, like changing the map version, changing the audio codec, the sample rate, and more. Just remember to switch it back to the default option if changing it doesn't help anything. If all of these other suggestions fail to help, then the last things that I can recommend is to reset your device. You can perform a factory data reset on the Google Pixel 9 series from within the settings application. We just search for the word reset again at the top and you should find the erase all data factory reset option from here. We tap that and confirm this is what you want to do but just make sure that you back up your photos, videos, and everything else that's important. This can be helpful when it's the firmware itself that is causing the issue, which honestly it can happen from time to time. 
failing this, unlocking the bootloader so that you can manually flash a freshly downloaded copy using the Android flash tool is also advised. Since there could have been an issue with installing Android from the factory. I haven't done a video about this specifically yet for the Pixel 9, but use the comment section below if you would like some help. You can see how intertwined the Bluetooth service is with the firmware, and how any of these suggestions can help to fix the issue that you're having. But at the end of the day, it may just end up being a compatibility problem with the brand that makes your Bluetooth earbuds. So definitely try another pair if you're still unable to fix it, as it may be an underlying bug within the firmware that Google has to fix on their end. Now, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask down in the comment section below. And do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Google Pixel 9 tips like this.